All right, um, chapter eight, making and editing layout footprints. We're on complete pre printed circuit board design using ORCAD capture layout. Craig Mitzner, N Nunez publisher. Making editing layout footprints, part two. Using the pad array generator introduction, the pad array generator is used to construct footprints of high density pin packages of the pin grad grid arrays. Figure 33, 833, ball grid arrays. Uh, pin grid arrays and ball grid arrays are used in integrated circuits that have a large number of input output ports, such as field program gate arrays or FGP, FPGAs. Um, Memory chips, microprocessors, CPU, the type of the integrated circuit works have the 1,000 or more pins of the dish from the integrated circuit through the pad array generator. Can be used to make footprints for the PCB mounted connectors. Making footprints with large number of pins is made easier within the pad array generator because of the much of the work is done for you. The next two examples will demonstrate how to use the pad generator array generator to construct footprints through for a thorough hole and surface mounted devices. Footprint design for the um, PGAs or uh, Pad, pad, uh, pin grid arrays, pin grid arrays. Pad array generator we use in this example of the construct of the footprint of the pin grid arrays. Shown in um, 833, first step of the obtain with the data sheet for the uh, part with the dimensions for um, generic 48 pin by 8 by 8 pin grid array is shown in figure 834. Each pin has 22 millimeter di uh, diameter and spaces 100 millis from the from the other pad stack. At 34 millimeters by 54 millimeter pad will suffice at 22 mils pad. So now we have this um, pin grid array requirements, units in mils, um, package dimensions, and pad stacks of the thorough throw hole the design and um, radiuses. Before using the pad array generator, what you need to have the correct, correct pad stack present with a one pad stack library. The uh, A54 radio, uh, resistor 34 pad, pad stack is included with the pad stack library. Uh, as you do with the demo version, you'll have the make of the pad stack saved to your custom footprint user library. We use, provide, use the prescribed use, use the procedure described above with the construction pad stack shown in figure 835. Once you have the pad stack definition finished, finish, click. All right, 54 resistor 34 cell with a spreadsheet select with the entire pad stack within click the right and save with the library from the pop-up shape of the pad stack to the library close with the spreadsheet. Next, display with the create of a new footprint in the dialog box, create with a new footprint and button with the layer manager with the enter with the name of the pin uh, grid array, array footprint. As pin grid array uh, 100 thousands by 48 by D034 and 860. As shown in figure 836, and select English units. Make sure the use pad array, array generator box is checked. or clicked OK. Pad array generator dialog box for the display with the click of the grid array tab. Enter for the value of the component in figure 837 of the array preview window with the covering with the dialog box. Move with it so the strap that does not obstruct with you. So you can see it. Uh, you with the pad stick section of the dialog box. Click select button with the bring into the select with the pad stick dialog box shown in figure, 35, figure 838. Select the default pad stack. Scroll down with the 54 resistor 34 pad stack. The pad stack library on our library, which you say with the 54 resistor 34 pad stack is not listed. Click Add Button, Appropriate, Appropriate Library. Repeat the process of the step 54S, um, um, 34 Pad Stack, Square Pad Stack, Pad Stack, Pad 1 Pad Stack. All right, so now we're in Pad Array Generator and the Grid Away, X Dimension, and Y Direction, Numeric, Alphameric, uh, Pad Options, Display Pad, Drill Name, Silk Screen, Place Outline, Pad Stack, Default Pad, Pin Pad, Pad Stack 1. Select pad stack default pad. Pad stack array designs A array preview, B array style sample. We want the middle of the 16 pins removed so the 4 inch bolt of the void columns VX and void and count rows of EY. Boxes you have at the generator create a silk screen with the place outline box with the automatically as well with the end of the value shown in figure 837. The toggle with the style sample button 
on um, over the button, over the dialog box, figure 837, to get the style will sample the window shown with figure 839B and changes with the, each of the tabs you select with the display with the spacing parameters to assist the generating array. The toggle array alphabetical button, both on the dialog box, figure 837, to bring up the edit of the array alphabetical dialog box shown in figure 840. Dialog box, you have to set up the name of the convention for the pins, the notice for the figure 834, there is no H row, but no all, not. Not all the letters of the alphabet are U, but the J, E, D, E, C standard letters are checked in the figure 840, but the manufacturer occasionally uses their own set of letters when labeling pins. Make sure that they closely check with the data sheet of the device using the pins of the footprint. We will match you up with the pins of the captured part with the command. Click OK. Get back to the pad array generator dialog box. And this is edit your array alphabetical dialog box. After you have the setting desired with the pair, pad array generator dialog box, click OK. The pad array will automatically construct an 8x8 array, 54 resistor by 34 resistor size pad stack finished with um, 48 pins by 8x8 point pin gra grid array footprint shown in figure 841. Finally, save the footprint if you're not using the demo version in one of the exact same libraries, new li libraries discussed above. Using the demo version, you'll not be able to save the footprint because it has more than 14 pins. Footprint designs um, ball grid uh, array. In this section, we construct the footprint of the, for a ball grid array, which is known as by 1515 ball grid array. Ball grid array have the advantage of the, over the pin grid array, including higher lead ball density, more than the I.O. pins for the same board, real estate, smaller footprints, higher speed, improved heat dissipation, self-alignment to the PCB during board assembly. But with the advantages come... Greater footprint design board layout challenges because of the greater interconnected density. Special function of the I.O. pins location of the power ground pins may also have the significant input with the footprint design details how the pit ball grid array will ultimately be routed. The full version of ORCAD layout includes the 80 ball, ball, ball grid array footprints. The footprint ball grid array 10M1 to 100B60 and 11 is shown in figure 843. The pad stack automatically shifts the bottom pad over the top of the copy of the top of the side man over the top of the side of the top of the similar pads is defined with the pads is 24 mil diameter with the six tenths of the mill space 39 mils one mil apart with this leaves any away only 16 mils from the edge of the of one over the edge of the nearest nearest pad the spacing allows one only one trace two almost for the between the pads for example the width of the routing tracing so here is your 10 by 10 ball grid array from ball grid array library review from the top. It's 6 mil within 5 mils remain with the spacing each other over the trace which you have the full 16 mil in order to get the two trivets associated with the space with the trace and spaces of the wood have 3 mils wide but depending on the capability of the board manufacturer that may be risky but you can see that you have to drive the route the traces from inner pads outward that you'll have to quickly run with available routing space with the after two rows. The only solution is to insert a fan-out visa for each of the inner pads so the trace is through from and from the inner pads immediately route with the different layers in order to avoid pads on the outer route rows. Figure 844 shows the 8x8 ball grid array fan-out because of the tile at tight tolerance to small dimension custom pads. Vivas must employ the Vivas almost uh, along with their respective pads are called the called dog bones. They Viva they typically have a small feature for the layout default view Vivas. They usually tell me they don't have the solder mask open. And another operate important detail with the dog bone is the solder mask uh, solder mask opening with the side of the ball with attached even the call with the solder solder defined pad figure eight forty six show the difference between solder mask defined pads and uh, non solder mask defined pads. Non solder mask non soldered mass to fine pads show the f it shows your fan out viva and your surface mounted pads okay and notice how they go in that's the array you have a viva land diameter a drill diameter a bridge width an exposed substrate and a solid mask opening with an exposed solid ball pad solder mask 846 ball grid and array, solder mask to find an A, ball grid and packaging, copper pad, solder ball, solder mask, board, substrate, non solder mask to find is gaps um, on the solder mask. <coughs> I prefer because large openings prevent the pads from being significantly shadowed, um, covered, or solid, soldered mass due to the solder mass mis re re registration misalignment, non soldered mass. Um, 
pads also provide greater surface for the solder for solder balls to cling with you by using side of the pads with additional top of the pads. This helps with the self alignment of the ball grid and to the PCB. Use the ball grid array and with in your PCB it has two approaches to the design fanning out with the ball grid array footprints. One use a bat pad array generated array surface mount and pan save the footprint to the library to add fan out to the PCB later. Or two use the pad array generated array the um plate through hole Viva then instead of the surface mount mounted pads move the Viva Fan locations then add surface mount path bridges to make the dog bones the save more pre fan outline out, out footprint. <coughs> Views basic ball grid array footprint. Form of the fan out board, you can play with the fan out view exactly when you want them, but you'll have to do that for each and every ball grid array footprint on every board. If you fan out with the footprint ahead of time, much of the work is done on the output of the front and the work can be reused. However, the pad array generator will array only the surface bound pads over the V with the button not bowl with the top of the pre out the pre fan out with the ball grid array footprint. You will have to add one or two other manually make a dog bone fan out even even when you're using a pad array generator, you will still have the rearrange of the fans outer fans out later with the border depending on the functions specifically the ball grid array pins. Over, overall, though, the pre fan of the ball grid array or at the footprint level those, well, can often save yourself with a considerable bone of work in the long run. In the example, we chose the option two design ball grid or array footprint with the dog bone fan outs using pad array generator. This example is fictitious, but sample 4x4 ball grid array. Dimension shown in figure 847. You use the fictitious data sheet with its guide to determine the footprint parameters are ball pitch spacing 50 mils or 1.7 to 27 millimeters, ball diameter um, 70, 30 mils or 0 0.75 millimeters. In 84, show the dimension fictitious 16 ball grid array. Um, units and mils. Your ball and diameter would be uh, 22 mils or 55 mil 5500 of a millimeter. Slider mass diameter 26 millimeters or 0 0.61 millimeters. Institute per printed board circuits with 7351 generic requirements of the surface of the design land pattern, land pattern standards provides guidelines for the ball grid array footprints and fan out dimensions. Using integrated printed circuit board 7351 figure 845, the guides will determine the fan out parameters to be bridge width of the um, 6 millimeters, 0 0.152 thousandths of a millimeter. Review the hand hold, hand hold diameter 14 mils or 0 0.036 millimeters. Review the land diameter 28 millimeters, 0 0.71 millimeters. Um, first, make the plate and throw a hole. Viva the, will be Viva the dog bone. Save the two user library. With the make the dog bone. Viva the open and layout with the layout manager. Open the pad stack spreadsheet. Select the one pad stack. Right click with the new with the pop up. Double click with the new pad stack for the slick. Right click and then click select properties from the pop up display with the edit pad stack dialog box from new to new pad stack. Something with the ball grid array Viva 28 um, resistor 14 user figure uh, mute resistor figure uh, 848 guide mod modified with the pad stack with meet with the beneath with the ball grid array or array fan out. Note the solder mask is undefined when this is done intentionally to produce a tented Viva the which has been prevent solder bridge and solder integration. Once the Viva that has been defined, select with the Viva the right click and slave with the library from the pop up, save with the pad stack, the pad stack library, save with the user library, and close with the spreadsheet. Next step, the use the pad array generator to build the 4x4 ball grid array from the library manager, create a new footprint, and create the new footprint dialog box with it displayed. Enter the name of the footprint since just the practice. Keep it simple, the ball grid array 4x4, select with the industry unit, with the check with the pad array generator box, click. Okay, use the pad array generator to construct a 4x4 array shown in figure 849. Remember to select the new Viva the ball grid array. 28 resistor 14 has pad array, uh, pad, pad to be array. Click OK to be display the array. Ball grid array and the fan out the venetians, pad stack layer, pad shape, pad width, height. Although you were, you were using an array generator, play with the real hole with the ball grid array pads with the ultimately fan out. Shortly we will be add the pads with the ball grid array side of the reason for doing this is the way that the auto router routes the name pads of the footprint. Auto array generator plays with the correct number of E with the device of the name forcing the auto router to route the these pins instead of the surface mount pads. Although the layout will be adding copper area of the surface mount pad with the footprint attaching with the name footprint. Footprint pins, but the layout does not adding free with the V with the footprint and then attaching them to the name pin. Even if they did, the auto router would typically ignore the V with the drive with the route with the name pin anyway. If they could not, it might use the V with it, might insert one of its own. 
Figure 850 show with the initial view of the ball grid array you might have to move with the next text out of the way to get the same view of the next step uh, is to play with the surface mount pads for over the ball lands. Bring change of the grid settings, select the system settings from options by menu chain the visual grid, two mils, changing all the other grid mills to one mil. Select the pen tool, move the pad A1 up to the left by 2025 mils. Um, for reference in surface mounted point A1 erosion place zero zero to add surface mounted pad. Select obstacle tool, right click, click, select new, right click again, select arc. Right click again, select properties, uh, select copper area, top layer, width zero, mills, check for the do not fill beyond obstacle boundary, select with the pin attachment, button select, attach to pin, radio buttons, enter A1 pin name text, click OK twice. Click and release left mount button, locate zero zero start pad, move the mouse eleven of the mills right to the pads with a diameter of twenty twenty two mills, click with the release of the mouse button and again, complete with the pad. Next play with the mid bridge of the free track with the pad with the V with the check over the grid settings of the five mills, click with the obstacle of the tool. Right click, select the new click, click again, select properties for like free track top layer with five mills, attach to the obstacle A one, click OK, draw a trace. From V with the copper pad by lifting uh, lift clicking on the pad, move the all right, move the V with the left click of the component complete segment. Right click and select the end command command to end segment of the bridge and pad with the now connect with the pin physically with the name. Name the cyber mask. Open um open over heart pad. Copy cover um copy the copper pad. Control left circuit check, left click left click or right click on the select copy the place uh, the copy in the open space off of the grid of the control left click and select with the new obstacle right click and then select properties. Change the letter surface mount on the top, um, width for the zero, the click OK, change the detail with the one, for the one milli, mi, millimeter, grab, grab the right edge of the new obstacle with the drag of the two millimeters right of the mass, and make up the obstacle with the diameter, four bills, bigger, 26 mil with the whole diameter. Left click with the mouse to revenishing, resizing, it. use control, left click, and select with the solder mask, opening it, center of the moving it, center over the copper pad, left and click it into place, right click and select end command, visions to the dog bone, as shown in figure 851. <clears throat> Using pin obstacle tools, move with the remaining pins with the new location with a copy of the cover pad, the bridges, the fire masking openings for each pin shown in figure 852. Select the rotating bridges necessary for each of the pin. Each copper area will be re reattached to respect the pin. Chain with the pin attachment, select with the copper object, the right click with the right property, select with the pin attachment, bottom and attach. The pin radio button should already be selected into the correct pin name and the pin number in the text box. So now you have this A1, A2, A3, B1, 3, completed dog bone fan out of A1. Alright, this is a reference command uh, and a reference. Completed pre fan ball grid array. Alright, blind barrier micro visas. Blind barrier, barrier, blind and barrier, buried visas are not designed to enter the footprint, but are added in the PCB during the layout and the routing product. Example of the design of the blind visa that is given in chapter 9. But it's discussed briefly here to show how they can be even the ball grid array. In figure 835, show the micro V for the blind, the barrier V for the can help with route high density ball grid arrays. Figure 853, show the ball grid array placed on the top of the board, another surface mount of the device present, placed directly opposite the, on the ball grid array of the bottom of the board, accomplished for this through the whole V for the cannot be used for fast routing of the ball grid array, accomplished using the blind, barrier V for the blind, V for the V for the are visibly only on one side of the PCB. Connect traces of the onto one outer layer of the inner traces, one buried V that is not visible for the either side of the board, connecting traces only between the inner layers. And that's various V with the technology and applications. Um Blind Barry V V V is real life on on built PCBs. A built up PCB often has a standard layer standard core. Section A, figure 853, um, additional with the layer of the sequentially added to the board through E, section figure 853. Place through hole V with the same core, bar become buried in V with the B, um, B in figure 853, B as outer layers are built with the top of the base core, buried micro V with the C, and figure 853, blind micro V with the D. And it can also be embedded in the outer layers during the buildup of the process of the position capacitor can also be buried in layers. After all, the layers have been built up additional micro V with the F and G in the figure 853. 
and standard play with the real holes age for the figure eight for three ten with the top end of the be added with the entire um assembly. Figure eight for three it shows three types of micro V with C and G and our laser drill plated V with D. Laser drill pasted filled V with an F the plasma edge plated Viva Learn more about designing build up more boards, micro V to C with the columns, printed circuit boards, handbook. Alright, mounting holes can be used with attaching PCB to mounting hardware, such as standoff without attaching hardware to the PCB to the size of the heat sink. Mounting holes are considered with the component footprints for the not part of the schematic of the four basic holes of the type. I was shown on the table eight. Two of the holes can be made with the with or without lands, pads, with the with or without plating, or with any combination of the two. Mounting holes that can be played with attached to any even net, but they can also be isolated from all nets. When mounting holes are attached to a net, it's assigned to plane layer. Though they can be connected with the plane through the thermal relief, the flood planes pour just like out through a port or plated through a hole. So we have the non-plated and plated, um, with or without pads. First version of the layout contains the layout library footprint, which contains three mounted hole templates. Empty hole one through empty hole three, which all plated holes with the notepads over there. Any of the other pad stack um, can be modified to construct any of the hole of the types A2 with the reference of the table, the drill size, screw with the appendix, and then appendix E of the days of the design mounting holes with the screw size, stand screw size. Pad, um, the pad plating defines the independently table 8-3 show the pad clearance for the dual parameters of the pad stack to make a hole in the pads regardless of whether or not it will be plated. Select with the pad stack spreadsheet with the select with the existing pad stack. Right click and select with the new pop-up. Set pad, pad stack pads as you would any of the pad stack. Perp 8-3 save the pad stack and library as described above. Alright, to make a padless mounting hole. Um, regardless of whether or not it be played with select with the pad stack spreadsheet with the select existing pad stack, right click with the new from the pop up save up the pad stack with the indicator in the table A3. When you shift the pad parameters to one rather than um, now, now knows to ignore them, they will be drilled out during the manufacturing process. If you set the pads to zero, the pad will be undefined layout will interrupt the pad stack with a blind buried or viva. Hope of the, some of the uh, footprints will come from the software the pad diameters equal to the drill of the diameter. To the drill diameter, ideally they accomplish the same setting of the pad size to one, and the pads will be drilled out. However, by a certain amount of the misregistration occurs during, during pad board fabrication, ring of the copper may be left without being during, during drilling profit generally harmless, but is imperfection setting pad size to one ensures all copper is removed. To make non-plated mounting holes, um, regardless of whether or not it's a pad, select with the pad stack spreadsheet with the selecting existing pad stack, right click, select with the new from the pop-up, select with the, of the pad stack with the per table, the 8th reboot, depending on whether or not you want the pads, double click with the pad stack name, the display with the edit pad tag, pad stack dialog box shown figure 854, check with the mark with the non-plated box, click OK. When the process board processes the second for drill hole file, file drill file, just in the standard throw a hole tab, the um, file of this will have the NMPT extension generated. A second drill hole is needed because of the non plated holes that drilled after all the plating process for the complete weather is plated through. The holes are drilled before the plating process. Therefore, a completely separate set of instructions is required. Examples um, how will the place of the mounting hole of the board connect and not give it in chapter 5 of the uh, chapter 9, example 2, with a brief description provided with the keys to play with the mounting hole on the board, shoot with the component tool with the right click, select with the new pop up, check with the footprint button, button select with the mounting hole from one of the libraries, place the check mark not in the net list, click OK that prevents the hole from being moved to, during the auto eco engineering changing order operation. Left click by placing the mounting hole, connect the mounting hole on the net, check with the, the pin tool, select with the coal with the control, left click, right click, select properties, pop up with the modified connection dialog box box to select the desired net from the net name list, click OK. Uh -huh. 854 defining non plated mounting hole. Alright, printing a catalog of a footprint library. You can print a catalog of an entire footprint library. We can use the reference also create with the PDF of the footprint library, the direction provided in chapter 15. The layout user guides for the catalog with the direction very straightforward so they will not be duplicated here. Page is intentionally left blank. Alright, chapter 9, P PCD. Print circuit board design examples.